or on above it. So I'm going to take that black video here and put it right on top. It's going to smother it. It's going to cover it right up. Now you won't see that animation anymore. I'm going to put uh, a gradient on there. There's a four a four color gradient that you can use. So we'll just try that. There are other ways to do this, but we'll just put four color, four color gradient on that black video. And you'll notice it has that little four point thing that tells you there are going to be targets, or at least a target if you click on it. And there are four targets because there are four colors. And what we're going to create here eventually is some um, graphic that's going to fill just part of the screen. And so if we use this whole four points like that, you're only going to see a couple of them. So it's kind of cool to put all four points in one line, like so, for example, knowing that this is where you're going to have your graphic. And then you can, uh, you can animate these guys in terms of uh, their position and colors, which is really amazing. So you can have these guys sliding across the screen, for example, so you can animate their position. So you, here's the, all the various position, position uh, parameters. You can animate them. Let's say I'll just move it in a little ways, and we'll just take everybody out of the screen, like so, like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little keyframes there automatically, move a little bit farther. I'm going to take this first guy and put him back over here. Have you all move a little bit farther and that kind of stuff. So you can animate the colors over time. So let's see how that works, just, just for, for grins here. So there you go. So you can animate the colors if you wish. That's one That's one thing you can do. And you can also animate the colors themselves. You can move the colors or, or have the colors change over time. But that's how you can create a color that you're going to apply on top of this cell and the way you apply it on top of the cell. You can use the blending mode here inside um, the effect, but I, I think the blending mode more applies to these colors than to uh, the ones the, the uh, colors below it on another track. I'll just quickly change that to, let's say, multiply or something. I just, ooh, we don't like that, right? So let's just not worry about the blending mode here inside the effect. And we'll use the uh, blending mode for the, entire, for the entire clip, which is up here under opacity. And opacity, for example, uh, we'll go to overlay again, and now we can see how that color blends with the clip below it. Cool. Look at that. Pretty wild. So that's my little animation. Now the thing is I need to put it inside a nice little frame. And you do that using track mats. You can apply a track mat to this clip and a track mat to this clip. You apply the track mats to the clips that you want to uh, restrict the uh, area that's visible, and then you use a uh, some kind of a mat on another track, and we need we need now to make, create that maps that mat. So I'm going to go to a new title, and if I go new title like this, it just creates a title and it's blank, and I need to create the uh, mat from scratch. But I want to save some time here, so I'm going to go to title, new title from template. I'm going to pick a lower third template that just simplifies my uh, my work here. So let me get on the lower third. You guys, of course, should make something from scratch and make it really cool looking. We'll take this guy because it is, what I want you to do for the assignment is I want you to have something other than just a rectangle. I want some kind of uh, curves built into it, some kind of a customized look to your template. So I'll take that template there. And what I want is I want um, a border and then I want a solid color and I need to make two titles to accomplish this. I need to create the border which is going to be visible and then I'm going to create the guts, the inside of the border which I'm going to use as the mat when I apply track mats to the other two clips. So the first order of business is just to get rid of the text. So I don't want the text floating around there. You need to get rid of that. So let's click that and click delete. So now we've got our starting point for our template. Let me just uh, click on that so you can see what we have there. What we have is an inner stroke. That's that black thing around there. And then ins inside there, we have this filled bezier. When you have a bezier curve uh, uh, that has that, that you can fill, the only way to fill it, or the way to fill it, is to do a filled bezier. So that then allows the fill to be inside it. So if you create your own bezier curve shape, then, then you use filled bezier to fill it. And right now the fill is not exactly opaque. I want to make it opaque so there's no doubt about uh, the track mat. So that right now the opacity is 75%, so I'm going to make it 100%. So what I need to do is I need to save this title twice. Save it once without the fill and once with the fill. And when it's with the fill, I get rid of the border. So I'm going to get rid of the fill for now. And I'm going to close this guy. I'm going to make the border a little, a little fatter so you can see it. 
make the border a little larger. And I'll make a different color because black will you know blend in with the background, so I'll make the color something really obvious so you, you won't miss this little puppy when we finally put it on the timeline. There it is. There's our new border, and it's empty. So I close this, and now I reopen it. I could have might we'll reopen it. And now I'm going to go back to title and say new title based on the current title. There we go. I'll call this one the mat. Uh, title mat. And now I want to fill this guy. So I just uh, click on it to make it active. And it's a filled bezier, and I just turn the fill on. And it retained the previous settings. And now I turn off the stroke. So now we've got just the fill. And that'll be the mat. That'll be the thing that we use to define uh, what it is that's going to fill the, uh, the, st the outer stroke that we created. So now I save that or by closing this. So now I've got a title mat and title line. Let me change this so we know what we're talking about. I'll call this the, uh, the outline, the title border. There we go. All right, now we need to put these two guys on these tracks here. So the border, I'll put that on top because I want to make sure that's pretty clear that that is on top of everything. And now I want to have the uh, video, this the stuff, the, the gradient and the cells appear only inside here. And to do that, I need to apply a track mat to uh, uh, some kind of a mat that would be filling that little space. So to do that, I drag the title mat over there under the title border. And there's that little white area is the mat that we're going to use when we use the track mat on these two pieces of black video that have animations built into them. Some people have a hard time grasping this concept. Y you use a mat, you use some kind of graphic, we'll call it a mat, that you can uh, then use as a, to define an area in which the video will play or in which the video won't play. You decide what it's going to be. But you're going to create an area that you're going to allow video to play in or not play in by using a mat. And you do that by by applying a track mat effect to the clips that you want to see or not see, and then you have to go f play, play a mat, apply a mat some other track, and then you connect the two things. So you don't apply the track mat key to the mat. You apply the track mat key to the clips of video that you want to see or not see. So we're going to apply the track mat key to one of these two guys, and then we'll, we'll then copy and paste it to the other one. So here's track. There's a the track mat key. Drag it over to the top one. And nothing happens yet because you need to say where is the mat that we're going to attach to the track mat key in this clip. So here's the video clip that's black video clip. And this particular video clip had the gradient in it, had all this color in it. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if we go to video 3, that is where the mat is. And once at the moment I click video 3, you're going to see all that color disappear. I mean, all the, the, the gradient that we created will disappear. There'll still be some color there because of the tint in the lower cell one. But I'm gonna, that gra gradient color will disappear and will appear only inside this matte defined area. So I'll click video 3 and boom, there's the, the lovely gradient that's only appearing where the matte defines the area where it can appear. And if I click reverse, then the reverse will be the case. You won't see the color here. You'll see it out. That's what I meant by showing it or not showing it. So in the area, we want to be able to see it. So we click that. And we're using what's called matte alpha because this is uh, the graphic, the uh, title, is, has a, a alpha transparency in it. And so you, it makes the transparent areas opaque. Isn't that bizarre? And makes the opaque areas define the matte. So we use matte alpha. If I had a black and white thing, we could use matte luma. but we can, and in fact, Luma will work here because it's an opaque thing over a non-opaque background. So that also works, but we'll stick with Alpha because that's really how it's designed. Hope it all makes sense. Now that we've done this, all I need to do is copy this effect. So I just click on it, right click and go copy. Click on this other video down here and paste. I'll close the tint so you can see it. I'll paste now, just paste. And it'll paste the track mat with uh, video, the mat on video 3 already selected, and it'll make all this stuff disappear and appear only inside this little area here. So I go paste and boom, there it is. It just shows up inside here. And now we have our animation. And you know, now you can, uh, if you want to, you can mess with the animation in terms of, let's say, the black video, let's say uh, it's a little too bright or something like that. You can knock the opacity down here if you want to. Or if, if the cells are too bright, you can uh, knock the opacity down to that down to that as well. Let's just try that, see how that works there, and knock it down a little bit. Yeah. However you want to mess with it. But now that you've got your animation, you can now then make another title and put your title over 
this and over the animation I made the colors kind of garish and bright so you can see what's going on you probably don't want something so dramatic like this unless you're doing some wild and crazy video but then anyway that's up to you but what, what I want to see here now is an animation with some color in it that you use the uh, cell pattern to, as your main source for the animation and have some color inside it and have the animation move from let's say the upper left to the lower right or left to right or right to left or whatever diagonally or laterally or both and then make sure that you create some kind of a stencil you know in which that uh, animation will, will play a mat and then make sure you have a border for it so you can use this thing as a title and that's how it works see you guys later